In this video, we are going to go over some of the great resources in Flipgrid, like the Disco Library. So first we're going to access Flipgrid, and at the top there are some options for extra features like mixtapes. Mixtapes is where you can put together some of your favorite videos. There's also Grid Pals, which is a really cool way to collaborate with other educators in their classrooms across the country. Um, and internationally. And so you can search uh, for other teachers to connect with um, by making your uh, class searchable and you can find other teachers to work with. There's also Shorts, which um, allows you just to kind of use Flipgrid as a video recorder and to make quick videos. Then there is the Disco Library, which is a fantastic resource for using Flipgrid and kind of getting started with pre-made lessons in Flipgrid. So there are featured playlists from different groups like Hacking STEM through Microsoft. And these are pre-made topics that are connected to standards. Here is a playlist by the Met Museum. And so you can go through and search through some of these awesome resources and check out the topics that they have already created with built-in curriculum connections. And so you can search by grade level, you can search by subject, or you can just search for anything. So we're going to narrow down our search um, by audience and also by subject and find a topic that we want to use in our grid. So as you scroll through, you can see um, some of the topics that might work that are um, by some uh, groups or teachers. And so this one we're going to open up that is connecting computational thinking and algorithmic thinking, um, which is an important uh, computer science component that we want to hit. And so this one um, has integration notes. So this is a great uh, thing that the Disco Library has. So in integration notes, it's specific notes for the teacher, how to integrate this topic into your class. And on the left are the resources that are attached and the actual prompt. And so you can select this topic for your class and choose the grid and then add it directly to that grid. And then it brings it up in the editing page. So you can edit any piece of this topic to tailor it directly to your class. So like I can tell right now in the prompt that they specifically reference journals and I might not use journals in my class. So I can edit that prompt to be a little bit more specific for my class, but keep all of the other pieces that would be applicable. So it's a great way to use these ready-made prompts, um, making Flipgrid a little bit more accessible when you're first starting out. Um, that there is this huge bank of resources that are already made by other teachers and by other education resources. So they have all of those attachments built in. You can change the topic status, like we talked about before, video moderation is always a great idea. And then I'm ready to update this topic and add it to my grid. And so it is ready to go, it is posted, and I can share it out to Google Classroom and assign it to my students. So the Disco Library is an awesome feature that we recommend using and checking out so that you can see all that is available for you to use in Flipgrid. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel right here and check out the next video in our playlist.